Good morning everybody, so I am going back to Trinidad, yeah, it's like 5.30 in the morning and I'm walking right now, I'm here in like the side arms of the river and I'm walking over to the immigration right now, taking the boat back to Trinidad, guys, Trinidad, I miss you, you got me back. This time probably for just only a month or so, but um, yeah, because first of all, my visa in Venezuela is running out at second of all, after exploring like the bar here in Venezuela, I kind of wanted to like go and explore the bar in Trinidad and have some other video ideas since uh, I have a lot of friends in Trinidad right now, a lot of people who know me and lots of cool things to do. So. Yeah, I'm really happy so to go this back. this is the guard station of the migration. Right now there isn't anybody there, I'm a little bit early. Um, but yeah, I can film as long as there's no guardia yeah, because they don't like it if you film while they're there. Um, yeah, this is my backpack over here. It's got a little bit heavier because I bought one of those cool hammocks. But um, yeah, the immigration told me it might not be allowed to get into Trinidad. I try my best to do, do it. Maybe they give me some problems here. I really don't want to lose it because I'm not sure if you guys know, like some of you who might follow me might know, but it's a lot of work to make one of those hammocks. I have some other crafts from the Barrow who gave it to me as like a gift. For example, this like bracelet it was a gift from the Barrow. Uh, yeah, for breakfast, we have some like instant ramen, some dry instant ramen. I just, I don't know, I just like to eat dry instant ramen. It's like fast and you know, you just like crumble it and then you put like the spice in, you just snag it. Alright everybody, I'm back on the boat. I finished immigration with uh, Venezuela and yeah, it's always like always a... I don't like immigration, right? It's always a very nerve-wracking process and yeah, uh, the boat gas is some like Venezuelan snacks. I don't know what it is, I actually did never tried it. So let's try it. Oh, it has some meat inside. Pretty good. Just need some garlic sauce. But yeah, pretty good. And now a three hour ride back to Trinidad. We also got some apple juice here. And it's not really apple juice. It's a little bit more chemical. It tastes something like apples, but I don't know, some chemical stuff. And um, yeah, I have to say, I'm kind of sorry to leave Venezuela. Living with the Barao was like one of the most like awesome nights in my entire life, I would say. like. I don't know, I just love living with them, I love their culture, I love their mentality. Um, yeah, now I go back to Trinidad. Hopefully I don't get problems in Trinidad, because I tried to go back like one week before, uh, two weeks before, and I got a problem with like the immigration in Trinidad, right? They basically said that because I walked without money and everything across Trinidad, like I have no money to take care of myself. And I just want to publicly say, um, I do have money. Right, I worked in Europe. I start with no money. That's why I ever say like journey with no money. I start with no money, but I worked like in Europe. I worked in Germany. I worked in France. So I do have money to take care of myself. I have to. I have friends who take care of me the whole trip, walking across Trinidad. I never ever once even like beg for food. Never asked for food. Those were all people who give me food and other things voluntarily. Right? I never beg. I never try to do that. I do travel economically, like I buy cheap food, but I still buy food, you know, I, I still know how to take care of myself. Oh. Small huts over there, this is like the place where I stayed for, I guess, two months now. Two months I lived here in the jungle. And I'm very happy of the experience. And just you know, looking back at those houses, so small. I hope I see this place again one day. Kind of sad to think I'm leaving now. But it's a little bit rocky right now. That's because we're on the open sea. And yeah, maybe I get seasick again. You know, I mean, I sailed across the Atlantic, but I still get seasick. And yeah, I kind of miss the ocean. You know, but I don't know. I still like it. All the rockiness. 
Soon you'll be in Trinidad. I'll be in Trinidad. I'll leave because you're watching. Right, everybody. Back to Trinidad. Ah, oh, man, I miss the ocean. I miss the island feeling. I miss the sea. I miss Trinidad. I'm happy to be back here. I also realized my battery is low, so I probably have to stop filming the next while. I have to go through immigration now, but I don't know. I'm really happy. I like the ride. All right, guys, so we jumped like I think two days in the past, uh, this future, because my mobile phone battery ran out and like we were kind of busy yesterday. So I am now here with Eric Lewis, Prince of Maruga. He invited me back to his estate. I'm staying at this house over there. Some of you might watch Christmas list. They know this is a haunted house and I'm now sleeping at it. Like Chris, I think one night, Chris, like what happened? Like his, the, the, the. So Christmas list. His chip just disappeared and, uh, from his uh, filming device and then he found it on the step. He didn't sleep all night, he just literally had a haunting. Yeah. And this is also where we had the Maruga scorpion pepper. And um, I mean, I tapped out after one minute, which is good enough. But yeah, this is where we had the activities. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I'm not gonna do the scorpion pepper, guys, so just, just don't. I'm, I'm, I'm not like that kind of guy, you know? No, no, it's boring, of course. Okay. Uh, let's 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 show you guys like where exactly I'm gonna sleep. As they call it, the master's quarters. This is where I'm staying at. I've got like this beautiful view outside. So this over here is the bed I'm sleeping at. Um, the first bed I'm sleeping at in a long while. I mostly slept in hammocks. I've got a toilet over here, and yeah, okay, yeah, I, I need to wash my stuff. But these are like handmade Barao, I guess, crafts they gave to me as a gift when I left. I've got some Venezuelan money. Guess how much it is, guys? Uh, I think it's around $5. And yeah, my hammock, which I'm super, super proud of. I love this hammock and I'm very, very sad that I can't sleep in it and I will sleep in it at some point. And yeah, my good old backpack. You know, my backpack actually accompanied me for like no more than a whole year through all kinds of stuff. My only companion who stays all the time with me. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna stay here in Trinidad for another few weeks. I don't know exactly how long, maybe longer, maybe shorter. And yeah, I wanna help, I guess, the Varao in Trinidad here. I wanna help uh, the, the, the chief here in Trinidad uh, with like some social media stuff and those kind of things. And I guess, yeah, eventually then I'm gonna move on to some other place. I don't know exactly for sure. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. And yeah, hopefully see you in the next video.